welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to remove the yoke on your front output shaft of your Dana 18 transfer case right here using this cool tool. This is really neat. This was made by Seth Hensler. Uh, you'll know him on uh, YouTube as Seth. I hope I get this right. Ste Heischer. Um, I'll put it across the screen right here for you to see. And also on Instagram as Red Eye Cafe Moto. So if you haven't, if you're not following him uh, and subscribe to him, do it now. Um, <laughs> you're missing out if you're not. Pretty cool stuff. But anyway, he makes things like this. Basically, he made this puller here um, with a piece of. Uh, Looks like um, threaded rod with a nut welded onto the back of it. And let me take it apart here. Um, he milled this end down to push onto the output shaft. Took a nut. And uh, his welds are awesome. Look at this, guys. Um, anyway, this is going to take the place of your U-joint. And it's going to be held in place to the yoke. You'll see it later in this video. Um, right here like this. As you can see. Um with the U-joint uh, straps. Really cool homemade puller. With that being said, let's get started and get right into it and I'll show you how well it works. Okay, try to get you some better lighting under here, but basically run underneath the Jeep here. This is the front, I got all the oil everywhere. This is the front yoke um, on the transfer case. And this is uh, the shaft right here. Um, we're gonna have to take that nut off of there. Um, if you can see it right there is a nut and uh, we're going to take that companion nut off and then we're going to go ahead and pull this yoke off using that uh, puller. And let me show you here um, what I'm talking about. I got my drive shaft strapped up out of the way right here, making sure not to lose my caps on the U-joint. Um, but where is that puller at? What this is going to do is take the place of the U-joint, clip right in there and as we tighten this down it's going to push against that. And uh, we'll have to obviously put the um, straps back on here. And uh, that will actually pull right off there. Hopefully that'll pull this yoke right off of that output shaft in there. So let's go ahead and try to take this off. I have the transmission in reverse and uh, it locked in four wheel low um, to try to give me ultimate torque. So let's get to it. Grab our inch and an eighth socket and we'll go ahead and put that on that companion nut. I got my breaker bar here, I'll give her a turn. Holy moly, grab the impact. Okay, we got our impact here, come on. And that makes short work of that nut right here. This nut, slide back over here, is what I just took off. I had my 15-inch uh, breaker bar on there and couldn't get her free. So I don't think we're gonna have to uh, torque her down that tight. <laughs> we put her back together. But now, I got this off. I'll throw it over here in my magnetic, magnetic tray. Get this out of the way. And set you back up over here. Oops. As you can see, the nut is out of there. So now let's go ahead and grab that puller and uh, get that attached and uh, get to cranking on that and see what happens. Hopefully you can see this. Um, let me bring you in here a little closer. Um, I have this tightened down here. I mean, just snugged up. Um, Seth's uh, U-joint uh, must be a little bigger than mine. The yoke must be a little bigger. So I'm not quite in the um, spot. But the, anyway, the straps still made it over. And I still got the, uh, the nut flush with the end of these straps. Um, they're just snug down. They're not over tightened, but um, they're snug down and then what I'm going to do is take this here and thread this in just like this And what that will do in theory is push as I tighten this This way it'll actually push onto the shaft 
and pull this yoke off. So I don't have uh, I don't have a uh, socket for it, but I do have a wrench. Seth, I'm not sure what size nut you got there, um, but I didn't have anything that worked other than this big old stinking inch and uh, five sixteenth wrench. So we're gonna give that a shot. And get your light on here. There we go. See what happens. Look at that! Sweet! And there's the yoke, and there's the puller. As you can see, this push, there's the splines. This here tightened down and pushed against that shaft right there and pulled the yoke right off the splines. Now what I'm going to do is my next step is we're going to replace the seal right in here. Um, because as you can see, it's wet under there and it's leaking. The front and the back are leaking. Now that'll be in another video. Just wanted to show you how cool that actually worked and how slick that worked. And uh, Seth, it worked like a charm, man. Thank you so much. This is a really cool homemade tool that Seth made. Um, again, thank you, Seth. It worked like a charm. It was a little big for me. As you can see, it didn't quite fit in my uh, U joint slots there, the little stoppers out here to keep the bearing caps on there. It didn't quite fit in there, um, but that's okay. Uh, it, it, I got enough threads here. I got enough that the uh, the threads caught enough and it didn't like strip out the uh, straps or anything. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Got more to come. I got uh, another video coming out where I'm gonna actually change out these uh, the seals, this felt seal and the actual um, uh, seal on the transmit or the transfer case uh, output shaft and also have an overdrive on order. Still waiting on that from Kaiser Willys. I don't know the status on that. Uh, as soon as I know, um, I'll let you guys know. But uh, again, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, at 65CJ5 on Instagram. And if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Lots of cool, exciting content coming up on this old Jeep right here. And uh, I'm gonna start this spring doing some more farm stuff around the farm here, uh, farm vlogging and uh, stuff like that. So electrical stuff. Um, so stay tuned for all that stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.